my chickens have been getting into my garden. So I got some of this. Not for the garden, it's for the chickens this time. Bird jail's ready for some bad chickens. Here you go, jail chickens. Hey, why are my friends in jail? What's going on? <laughs> Time to uncover this thing. Almost at the quarter full line. Maybe there. I guess I'll leave the little chicken nest here since they seem to like it a lot. All right, Jamie, what are you doing to this here water tank? Well, I'm thinking about putting a balcony up here so you can come out this window and stand on a little thing up here. And it can rest on top of those two doors. Maybe I'll make, you know, a little bit of stuff on top so it's up a little bit and then I'm putting like wall sections on the side of the water tank so it'll be supported there here here and there so this is my first thing it's not tall enough yet my inside mold only got me up to there but I think this one might be at the right height yeah looking at it from here top of this is just a little bit above that door edge so I can just build a little little platform on top of there and one up on top of there get the concrete right up to the top of here and it'll be good I probably won't build the uh, balcony right away it might just be a solar panel holder for now because um, then I can you know move all the electronic stuff into the house sooner I need to get two, at least two more solar panels in here somewhere so that I can move uh, the batteries and the refrigerators and all that stuff. To oh, looking pretty good in there. It's actually super useful having these things all over the place. I may want to have a piece like coming out going right across here so it'll have a flat top right, right across. I'm just starting to put this guy in right now. And hopefully this concrete grips into this concrete strongly enough that this doesn't just slide off. I think it should be fine though, just based on uh, previous concrete to concrete attachments. I guess I can get to some more dozing next. I did get this whole area over here filled in. That's why there's a big hole here, because this was like this. And I got a new planting circle. Nothing's planted in it yet. And now I'm starting on this side. I guess the only things not flattened out at this end of the island are where these trees are. This is Aurora's climbing tree, so I can't take that one out yet. And this one's giving me some shade, so I'll leave it for a little while. I'm going to have to move that dome soon because it's about a foot and a half too low.
All right, I got these supports up here. They're almost done. So I figured I better put the ones on top of the door too. Nothing fancy, just a little trapezoid. So I'll be able to put wood from there over to here and just build a deck on there. I'll put another one of these over here. It should be strong enough. I did stand on top of this and it was very sturdy. And uh, yeah, if I, as long as I keep the weight of the boards close into the building, I don't imagine this will break. Oh, okay, I can imagine it'll break, but I, I don't think it will in reality. <laughs> Is that some kind of Flintstones car? I think I see feet sticking out the bottom. That was a kitchen island. Apparently the kids think it's a Flintstones car instead. Sounds good to me. You know, I totally don't trust GMOs. Genetically modified organisms. And there's two reasons for that. Killer bees! Because this is what happened. And first, let's put aside all the, Oh, it was an accident, a mistake, the latch on the door broke, I don't know what happened. I'll put aside all that crap. This is what happened. Some guys in a lab made killer bees. Bees that are basically psychos and will kill you. Then they let them out. And these are the people we're supposed to trust with making us new tomatoes. So they come up with some new tomato and say, wow, look, no bugs will eat these tomatoes. This will be great. We'll have huge crops. And then they sell a billion and a half of these tomatoes. And then upon further inspection, they realize, ooh, no bugs will eat them because they're actually poisonous. I mean, they won't kill you right away, but I wouldn't eat them. <clears throat> and another guy's like, oh, we have to tell everyone. The first dude's like, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute, let's just, let's just think about this for a minute. Behind door number one, we've got a billion dollars in profits. They're selling these tomatoes. Behind door number two is this report. Uh, I do not trust those guys to make that decision. You know who I trust? I trust nature. Because nature does it right. Nature tries out all kinds of weird stuff, and when something goes really bad, it just goes extinct. That's why all this super dangerous stuff is in the ocean, where it belongs. Except when a human screws it up. Except for Australia. What's up with Australia? We're probably going to find out that 40,000 years ago there was some genetically modifying civilization in Australia that created all that weird stuff and killed themselves. Either that or they perfected space bats and they left.